everybody, Josh coming to you with another Barefoot Shoe Review and today we've got women's shoes but this company also does make men's shoes so either way hang around. I, I have a men's version of the shoe. I got this women's version for my wife because I liked mine so much but I did review the men's version separately and this company also has other versions of the shoe. Lace up, slip on, slippers, all kinds of different options in a million different colors and so uh, whether you're a man or a woman, whoever, hang around. That's my point. Uh, but before we get into the review, hit like and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so you can catch my videos in a timely fashion. Sometimes I announce uh, hot sales that are like out of the ordinary, kind of like, you know, for instance, this one I just announced was 30 to 50% off clearance at a, at a company. And you know, Barefoot Shoes can, can get pricey a lot of times. And anywhere you can save a buck, it's good to save a buck, right? So do that. Hit the subscribe thing. And then secondly and lastly, Hit, uh, hit me up on Instagram and follow me there at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Why would you want to do that? Because I do actually more detailed written reviews there than what I do here on the YouTube videos. So, uh, you know, there's a score of 1 to 100 in 10 different areas. They, you know, anyway, you get a lot more information there, plus some cool pictures. Uh, like, for instance, today I'll, I'll tell you what kind of pictures you're going to get on this one. But first, let's just jump into it, okay? So the company is Aintap Leather. And uh, they are based in Turkey in a town called Gaziantep, or a village, whatever, a city, I don't know. I don't know how big it is, but Gaziantep, Turkey. And you think, oh, do I want to order shoes from Turkey? How long is that going to take? Guys, I've ordered shoes from uh, Germany, Czechoslovakia, some other places in Europe. Those places have taken two weeks, three weeks, a month. <laughs> but Turkey, both times we've gotten shoes from them, it's taken one week and it's here. I, I don't know how they do it or what they're doing with their shipping, but they're doing something right. So uh, Aintap Leather, they come in a in a little like plastic envelope. You'd think, is that my pair of shoes or not? It looks small. But then you pull this out and somehow this fit in there. I don't know how, but it's like a linen bag with a drawstring. And these sorts of details, guys, would you rather get this or a shoebox? You know, come on, like, it's just very cool. So we pull the shoes out of here. I'm pulling out this bag here. All right. And inside the shoes, check this out. Now, my wife scored two of these. You say, what the heck is it? It's like a little tchotchke, uh, a little keychain or whatever you want to use these for. But these are hand-stitched miniature leather shoes. You know, this one's like two colors. This one's gold. They do make gold shoes. These guys have every color on the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, brown, gray, silver, and gold. And that's all the colors I can think of, but they probably have more than that. Uh, but that's that's the gold. I mean, that's pretty dope. Like they, they, anyways, so these kind of details, though, this is my point. Like, a kind of company that does this sort of thing and hand stitches little little miniature shoes to include with their shoes. Isn't that the kind of company you want to do business with? And they send their shoes to you in a linen bag with their stuff, you know, printed on there. I mean, come on. For me, that says volumes about the company and the love they put into their craft. And these are handmade shoes. Let me show you the shoe. <laughs> Look at that. Now, okay, some of you are going to say, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Some of you are going to say, eh, I don't know if that's for me. But let me say up front, there's different styles of the shoes, okay? They have the slip-ons like this. They also have them with this thread, which is called the sport style, which both my wife and I got, and we chose it for a reason because we think it's really distinctive, stylish, cool, whatever. It's sick. I love it. Um, some of you might not like it, so, so you can get the one without the visible thread there. It just is the edge of the leather, and that's all you see, the brown leather. Um, again, every color, but they also have lace-up versions. They have sort of like tennis shoe-y style versions, but they also have dress-up lace-up versions, several different sets. There's like 300 and something shoes on there between the men's and women's shoes. So worth a look. Find out what you do. And, and I may or may not have an affiliate link here. I'm talking to them right now. They don't have an affiliate program. They're just like, we're just shoe people. We make shoes. We make good shoes. This is our craft. We don't know about uh, affiliate programs and stuff. So uh, I may or may not have a link here that might save you a percentage. It's worth clicking the link, even if it's just nothing and it goes straight to their website. Please check the information here below the video. Hit that link when you buy these, and you will because they're sick. Um, okay, so what are they made of? They're made of leather. On the top, you got Nubuck leather. They also have like slick, smoother type leathers. They have different options as that. They have some cloth ones that are like plaid. They have uh, animal hairy ones that are like zebra uh, and cheetah and uh, uh, endless options, okay? So just take a look. Scroll around the website uh, and, and flip through the pages. like 17 pages of shoes there. Just flip through, find something you like. 
Okay, so but this one here that she got is a new buck leather, just like I got. And for, and for those of you that don't know, new buck leather is sort of between suede and smooth leather. So it's got that mild, little fuzzy, velvety, luscious, uh, smooth, buttery feeling. I just love new buck leather. I mean, I don't know if you, how, how well you can see on here, but then on the inside, it's also got natural leather, but it's more like a smooth leather. You see that? Nice and soft on your feet. Uh, and then the bottom. This is, whoa, one of the differentiators here. It's not a rubber sole, but you can't get a rubber sole added onto it, but this is made of water buffalo leather. Who the heck ever heard of water buffalo leather uh, until this uh, this style of shoe? This this is called a Yemeni style shoe, like from Yemen. Uh, a Yemen style shoe made in Turkey. And all of a sudden, there's like a half dozen of these companies. Literally in the past three months, I had never heard of these shoes, never seen them. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's like a million uh, of them out here. They're just uh, becoming, they're hot on trend right now, I guess. So why this company versus another one? Uh, number one, they're the least expensive, okay? These are $90. And these are handcrafted, handmade. They, they use a press to cut out the leather. Everything else, they're hand-stitching. They got videos of them hand-stitching these things together on their website. Check it out. Um, but these are $90. It says on the website, $120 has a little line through it. $90 like discount for you today, you know, but, uh, $90. Some of the other companies I've seen are $180, $190 for the same exact shoe. Uh, literally some of them are even made in the same town, Gaziantep, Turkey, <laughs> and they're twice as much. And for all intents and purposes, they're virtually identical. I mean, I, if it's up to me, I'll pay less, you know, if I'm getting the same thing and these are sick. And one of the little differentiators I've noticed on these versus some of the other ones is that little bit of elastic in that in that notch there. You see that? Why? Because look, that's why. And that can make the difference between this shoe fitting you or not fitting you or staying snug on your feet or slipping off or not. That's a nice detail to have that little bit of elastic. Okay, so new book leather on the top, genuine leather on the inside, water buffalo leather soles, which you're also standing on it. It's gonna conform to your foot. So it's gonna develop your foot shape and just feel like butter. And, and you know what? Uh, they feel like butter the first time you put them on. You don't even need to wait for them to conform to your feet because it's leather. It's breathable. It's uh, natural feeling. Um, just great, beautiful shoes and high quality uh, craftsmanship. I mean, it looks like they've been making these things for like a thousand years, uh, literally. Like they're just gorgeous. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, all the zero, uh, all the barefoot shoe stuff is, is intact. Zero drop from heel to toe. Perfectly flat surface for you ladies to stand on and you gentlemen on the gentleman versions. Um, no arch supports, um, so your arches can stay strong. They don't need that false support and, and grow weak and atrophy over time. They're shaped like a human foot. Now, all this stuff is like the exact opposite of, of the typical women's shoes in the stores. I'm so sorry for what the shoe industry has done to you ladies and what society has done to make you think what you need to wear to be fashionable or cute or whatever. These things are cute and they're healthy, okay? Beautiful, shaped like a human foot, so your toes can just maintain their natural little cute feet selves in there and be healthy and strong and give you balance and function the way your foot was designed to function. Um, the nice wide toe box there with plenty of room for splay. Maybe you can see it better by looking at the bottom of the shoe, but look at that nice natural foot shape. And um, they do also have non barefoot versions of some shoes on there. They have some with a little tiny heel if you want it, but so be careful if you're looking for barefoot, make sure you get the ones that say barefoot. That's a good note. All right. Uh, lastly, flexibility. Nice, flexible. I mean, this this is leather. It's a it's a nice thick leather, and also, you know, uh, twists and, and all that stuff. So your feet can do what your feet need to do, ladies, to to just function in the real world and stay healthy and strong. Okay. So all of that, and there are a couple of options. They have two different websites. So I'm not sure again what I'm going to include down here, uh, but they do have options where you can put a copper copper rivet in here that that will touch the ground and touch your foot for grounding purposes electrically speaking which i've seen tests of that are cool um and they also have another option where you can add two millimeters of rubber on the bottom if you need extra protection for somebody you just want a thicker sole you're not quite a barefoot person just yet uh, and you're getting there or maybe you're you stand on rough surfaces or and you want a little extra uh, you know to extend the life of the shoe or something by adding some rubber on there they have those options so I think that's all I have to say. Uh, hang around if you want to see my wife try these on and give her thoughts, which is most important, right? Since these are her, her shoes. Do that. Otherwise, uh, you know, use the link if you want to buy. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh. 
Uh, for those of you that got to go, got to go. If you're a man and you want to see my man's version, I'll probably try to include that link down in here as well. So you can just click and see the men's version shoe of my dark blue ones. Other than that, hang around and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you just saw them really very fast on her feet as she did a little turnaround. And uh, I'll have some pictures of her in a couple different outfits on Instagram. So again, follow me there at Barefoot Shoe Josh. And now she's just going to share quick what, what are your thoughts on the shoes? Uh, probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I've worn in a while. Um, I like that it's got a really wide toe box because I've got wide feet. But lots of room to just feel comfortable in walking barefoot and super cute style that can go with a lot of different outfits so cool all right <laughs> that's it um catch you on the next video guys thanks for tuning in see ya